Welcome to the beginning of the end. I'm here in the Netherlands where we're currently living through literally the hottest day ever recorded. Mainland Europe is sizzling up like a, a poolside Italian granddad wearing nothing but half a litre of baby oil and a smile. It's a me, a skin of cancer. So as wildfires ravage the forests of France and the glaciers begin to melt in Iceland, and the proletariat reach a fever pitch of existential anxiety throughout the continent. I've decided that the safest place I could come is somewhere that's already below sea level. So I'm here in Rotterdam. It's the world's shittest travel show Get your shit, it's time to go Get your fat ass off the floor and get outside the fucking door We're going to meet new faces, see new places Make for pals, try, try not, not to be accidentally racist. racist All of the equipment is shit, the audio shit, shit. the video shit. shit The general cinematography, it's all shit yeah. So if you didn't know, now you know Tally ho, welcome to the world's shittest travel show Got the lucky shorts on, and I'm ready to go this is the shite guide to ro- uh, For fuck's sake. They've got a statue of a dog and a dog shite. What kind of place is this? If you're concerned about the fall of man, safety can be found in an already underwater land. Balls are getting sweaty or the world is getting hotter, man. Not a bother, sham. Get yourself on out to Rotterdam. The second city of the Netherlands, Rotterdam. It's the one that's not Amsterdam. And uh, the friendly locals have been known to stab anybody who brings up such an insensitive subject in such a manner. So just be, be careful. It's said that they spend the money in Amsterdam, but they make the money in Rotterdam. And it was these docks that brought all that work to these hard drinking, hard living, heavy lifting, bevy sipping men and women. Ah boys, what the fuck is going on here? Like 40 degrees on the horse up in the fucking box like. You alright buddy? So I, uh, I actually lost my train of thought to be honest with you. Uh, these days Rotterdam is funky as fuck and uh, it's a cultural hotspot. And uh, the last time Rotterdam's been this hot was on May the 14th, 1940, when it was uh, a toasty 800 degrees Celsius. Uh, due to the fact that it was being bombarded by the Luftwaffe to such an extent that up to 900 people were killed and over 90% of the city centre was completely annihilated. I think that's why this dude on the statue here is so sad. When the Nazis were cruising through the Netherlands, they didn't expect much resistance, but following a four day long battle with the locals, those hooligans from the Third Reich, disgusted with this very un-Germanic delay to their travel plans, decided to just bomb the living shite out of Rotterdam instead, to save a bit of time, and to send a powerful message to Europe, never delay a German. Guess what guys, the war is so over and Rotterdam is now shooting into the sky with seriously amazing amounts of super sexy, shiny and sleek buildings. Oh look at that one, gezellig. Oh and another one, that's crazy, I'll do another one. Behind me now you can see uh, this physical embodiment of human insanity. It's called uh, the Market Hall and that translates roughly to um, kind of like Market Hall. And uh, basically it's a, it's a giant hall with a, with a market in it. It's all pretty, pretty, pretty heavy stuff. Sure, we'll have a look inside, will we? We'll all be shopping in these soon enough when we've finished destroying the outside. Check out the world's largest artwork to take your mind off the burning radiation out there waiting for you. Yep, we're fucked. Nice stuff. This one's for poor people. This is the floating forest. I'll, uh, I think I'll let you do the intellectual heavy lifting on the metaphors yourself on this one. Floating forest. We're gonna keep getting sweatier and sweatier and sweatier until we die. So let's get high. Rotterdam, or uh, as it's said in Dutch, Rotterdam has uh, been settled for almost a millennium, but it was only in 1350 when uh, a big canal linking it with uh, the north of the country was built, or, or dug or whatever, and uh, then just the trade started exploding in the city. Let's get back to the weird shit. Yeah, 
whole entire city of Rotterdam itself is uh, one giant open air museum of graffiti and a turning any corner could have you coming face to face with something beautiful. Ah, uh, look at this one here now. Some fella asking his bird to marry him via the medium of graffiti. Well, if he's willing to vandalize the side of a shop for you, it's probably true love. Come on girl, you know I love you, but you ain't been picking up what I've been putting down. You know I want to paint the town red with you. The writing's been on the wall for a long time now, girl. I drew a picture for you. I drew a picture for you. It was about the only thing that I was able to do. I drew a picture for you. I drew a picture for you. I drew a picture for you. I came true with my crew in the middle of the night and then I drew a picture for you. Girl, you know that I be true and I'm never gonna use your funky blue shampoo and I'm not gonna ask you what you do in Peru but if you smuggle and cocaine I wanna come too I don't care if you move to the moon I'll shoot Elon Musk on a robber's balloon cause I never wanna bid you with you and it's true that it's you that I wanna pursue but like not in a creepy way I drew a picture for you I drew a picture for you it was about the only thing that I was able to do I drew a picture for you I drew a picture for you I drew a picture for you I vandalized very nice public property too And I drew a picture for you yeah, girl, you know I'll vandalize anything for you. You pick the window and I'll break it. I'll do anything for you. I'll rob an expensive woolen artisan scarf for you, girl. How many birds do you think have died slapping face first into that wall? This neat little bridge is the uh, the locked single and uh, it connects somewhere from over there to, to somewhere over there. It's pretty neat. Sorry for the shit sound, sorry for the shit sound, very very sorry for the very very shit sound. One of the other cool things about the bridge, other than the bridge itself, is the fact that uh, it was a crowdfunded bridge so um, if you made a donation then you get your name put on the, uh, the little yellow sticks or whatever, which is pretty cool. Behold yet another raging example of man's utter contempt for nuance and subtlety. These are the uh, the cubus or the uh, the cube houses, and uh, yeah, they're mainly inhabited by uh, lunatics, I would imagine. You okay. More madness. I'm cooler than you, you never heard of the shoes that I wear Or the music I blare, and you stare at my hair While I fine tune my beard, you got antiquated views on my haikus That I like reciting on the side of my roof every high noon Why is my house yellow, why is the sky blue Why did all my shite slide to the side of my room Why am I a binary bitcoin tycoon Hip shit, hip life, hip kid, hip boy Cycle to my hip job, on my fucking hip boy Living that kai cubist lifestyle I do I'm so cool that I live inside a nice, nice cube. Who the fuck are you? Do you even know what I do? I'm so cool that, that I live inside a nice cube. Who the fuck are you? Do you even know what I do? I'm so cool that I live inside a nice cube. Oh. 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 And this elongated white elephant of elegance is a uh, Het Witterhuis. The White House. Uh, nobody knows uh, how it got its name, but when it was built, it was uh, it was 43 meters high, and uh, to this day, it's still 43 meters high. That's over 42 meters high, which is um, about the size of of six average, fully grown Dutch men stacked on top of each other. How it survived the bombardment from the Nazis is beyond me, but uh, pretty glad it did. This is a solemn monument for Optimus Prime who died in Rotterdam fighting the Nazis. He's gone but not forgotten. This seriously unsettling site is supposedly Santa Claus. This is supposed to be Santa Claus holding a Christmas tree. 
and uh, the locals do not know it as Santa Claus. They know it as Kabouter Butt Plug, which uh, essentially means... Ho, 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 motherfuckers. But that's what the artist Paul McCarthy said anyway. He said it's Santa Claus with a, with a Christmas tree. But me and you, we, we both know it's not Santa Claus with a Christmas tree, don't we? Is there anything more terrifying than a 30-foot metal man from the North Pole coming down your chimney with a giant sex toy? Jesus Christ. There's a giant metal man in my neighborhood with a giant sex toy and he's been texting me. There's a giant metal man in my neighborhood with a giant sex toy trying to get next to me. There's a giant metal man in my neighborhood with a sex toy trying to mess with me. And I guess that the giant metal man in my neighborhood with a sex toy is never ever gonna let me be. He's never gonna let me be. He's never gonna let me be. Never, never gonna fucking let me be. He's never, never gonna let me be.